Hello all, this is Nitin Power. In this video, we'll talk about how you can implement the SCD type 2 in your Azure Data Factory. Now consider that I have a source file. Whenever we are getting the new records, that record should get inserted with the data, whatever coming from the source file. And we are on runtime, we are adding the end date and the current flag. For the new records, the flag should be one. And for the existing records, the flag should get changed to the zero and the end date should get added over there. So how you can implement that? Uh, let me show you my IDF. Consider that I have a, firstly, I've taken the source. In my source, if I go over here, now you can see that I have a four records. ID one, two, three, four, first name, last name, city, and the start date. What I'm doing, I'm just selecting all the records. Okay. Then what I'm doing, I'm taking the hash value of the ID, first name, last name. Why I'm taking the hash values? Because based on that hash values, I will get to know that whether that record is the new record or it's the existing records in my target system. So that's why I'm just taking the hash value. And how you can take the hash value? You take the derived column and over here you give it a name source hash and I'm taking that MD5 of ID first name city. So it will give me the hash value of these particular combinations. Then here what I'm doing. How, how I can I check whether that the record is existing records or the new record. I need to firstly to check that record it exists in my target or not so this is my target i already done the data set and connections for the target on data preview you can see that i won't be having any records in my target system see now what i'm doing i'm just selecting all the current record using the filter condition in filter condition i'm saying that active flag double equals to one so that only my current records will get filtered out. Then I'm taking the hash values of the first name, last name, city, ID, ID, first name and city. Once I have the hash values for these, my CSV file, this is my CSV file and this is my target table. Once I have the hash values for both the columns, then I can use the existing one and over here, I can say that in the left stream, I'll have my source hash. In my right stream, I can have my target hash. So whatever data is not matching, doesn't exist, I want that data. And that data should be my new data because that doesn't exist in my target table. So you can see that source equals to target hash. I'm just, based on this condition, I'm retrieving the data and over here, I'm just adding those extra columns. So my end date should be, by default for the new records, it should be 2099, 31st December 2099. This should be my end date for the new records and the active flag should be one. Once you've done that, then you need to add the alter row conditions because if you're doing anything, you need to add the alter row conditions and then you can load the data into your target systems. So here, what I'm doing in alter row, upset if I'm just giving as a condition as a true. So it means that all the times it will be true. And then I'm loading the data in my target table. Over here, you just have to make sure that you can allow insert or you can allow upsets. And based on which columns I want, based on the ID, first name, city columns, I want those rows to be inserted. So over here, if I refresh it, I should get all the four columns because those four columns are not populated in my target. So you can see that ID, all the columns have the active record flag as one. So all are current records, but this is the one thing. And then what happened till here, I, if suppose I had, I got then existing records. So what will happen at that time, what I'm doing, I'm 
selecting the target hash with the source hash and where I'm saying that it exists so that that records which are already exist based on which conditions I want that ID and the first name should be match because those are not getting changed only city is suppose getting changed then I'm selecting the columns the end date I'm adding as current in current time so for the existing records the end date should be added as current date and the active flag should be populated at zero then I'm again using that alter row setting here I'm saying update if I'm just giving a condition as true or you can directly give as one double equals to one whatever the condition that always should be true so once I done that over here you can in the inspect you can check the column in data preview you can see that whether you'll have the data already which is exist or not and you can see that data preview over here so I don't have any existing data all my data is the new data so you can validate and you can publish that pipeline I already published it you can then go to your pipelines you can create a pipeline using over here I already created a pipeline so my SCD pipeline too you just have to drag and drop that data flow over here and then you can trigger that particular pipeline so now the pipeline has triggered and I can go to the monitor on monitor now I can see that that pipeline is running so it will take couple of minutes after this pipeline is run what we can see we can check our target database and in my target database all four rows should be added the all the four rows should have end date as 2099 and the active flag as 1111 for all the four records so let that pipeline get finished okay so here I'm getting an error that the given value for the nware carrot 12 from the data source cannot be converted to nware carrot 10 oh so for the last name I got it so if you go over here and if you check it my table last name is I like only 10 characters and in my source I'm providing the last name for this is like 11 or 12 character that's why like I'm getting that error so how to overcome that let me just show you one thing what I can do I can drop table employee uh, that table has been dropped now what I can do over here the last name I can increase the size of this let's say 20 20 name also 25 and all the other columns should be as it is so once I run this now uh, I have a table select a star from okay now if I go back again over here in my ADF pipeline if I again trigger this now you can see that pipeline is running and this time that pipeline should get to run successfully and in my target table the four records should get inserted once that is done then we can 
update the source file and we can see that how the std type 2 is like how the updates are working in this we like firstly we'll see that how the inserts is working for the newly created pipeline now you can see that my pipeline is succeeded now if you go to your target tables if i select this records now you can see that all the four rows has been added with the start date coming from the source file and my end date is like 2099-1231 and all the active flag as one now what we should do i should change my city suppose i change my city to mumbai and for second record i change it to pune and i save that file so now what should happen my pipeline will run will read this file and it will check that these two records are the updated one and these two records are the existing one so what will happen it will take all these four records then mark them as a zero and for these two records they will insert the new records with the current flag as one let me show you exactly what i mean so over here in my new records if i go over here what will happen my source will have the data then all they get selected based on the hash values of the source and my target i can see that they will say that okay two records are get changed so if i go over here and if i do the data preview on my select after the doing the hash you can see that these two records are like my newly insert because the city got changed for nitin power previously city was pune so now it got changed to mumbai and for nikhil sarvaya previously city was mumbai now it got changed to pune so now what will we are doing here over here over here for the newly inserted records we are adding the date and current active flag as one so those two records will get added over here you can see that those two records will get added with the active flag as one and all other four records because previous like we are maintaining the history so nitin power with the pune should have the active flag as zero and nikhil sarvay with mumbai should have active flag as zero and all other two records which are not new or new not new inserts those also should have active flag as zero so over here i can see that in my data preview if i check i should get all the four rows now you can see that nitin power pune and here the active flag should be zero and their end date should be today's date because we have that kind of logic applied over here for that fields we are adding the logic such that end date should be the current date and active flag should be zero for the existing records now you can check that if i run the pipeline again now so if i run this pipeline that pipeline is running i can check over here if i do the refresh my pipeline is running after it's get completed what should happen all this four records should get updated to like active flag should be zero for this four records and two new records should be added with active flag as one nitin power with city as mumbai start date will be the same end date will be the same that record should get added over there and for nikhil sarvaye with the city as pune 
that record should get also added as a active flag as one all other four records should get updated with active flag as zero and their end date should get also updated with the today's date let me check now you can say that pipeline is run successfully now if i go to my table and if i again run this query now you can see that my previous records were get updated their active flag at zero and the two new records are added with nitin power as city as mumbai and nikhil sarvaya as a city as a pune so this way you can implement your SAD type 2 in your Azure Data Factory. So this way we have implemented the SAD type 2. If you have already a surrogate key in your table, based on that also you can update your rows. You can catch the insert or update based on that key column, surrogate key. So whenever you're designing these things, uh, some common things you need to make sure that whenever you are taking the data from the CSV file, by default in your projections, the data type should be the string. So you need to change that as per your requirement. Consider that your target is like, target column is an integer, then you need to change that as an integer, otherwise your pipeline will get failed. And then over here, I'm added a filter because now consider that my this table is loaded. I don't want to take that history records so that's why whenever the I'm loading the new file I only consider about these two records which are active so that's why I have added this filter so which will filter the condition based on where like active flag double equals to one so whichever records which are active only those records will get taken out and then I'm taking the hash values of both the columns and then do the exist and then for the new records doesn't exist so this way you can implement your std type 2 in your azure data factory if you have any questions on this do let me know i'll try to answer those questions meanwhile thank you so much